crypto prices have been plummeting and I ain't really tripping. I've been using decentralized finance to keep myself from worrying about a bear market. All right. Every single week I deposit DAI stable coins, which stay equivalent to one US dollar. Sometimes it goes up or down a penny or so. And I've been lending this cryptocurrency out to get a return, which is right now at 8.2% APR. And on top of that, the return is instant and I'm getting interest off of everything I make as well. So I haven't really been too worried about the volatility lately. If anything, it actually brought the APR up from last week. And on top of that, I'm probably just stacking sats. So let's get straight into the video. What's going on guys, it's your boy Low Key back bringing you another video. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'm bringing you content on cryptocurrency and personal finance. Hey, look guys, I actually changed my header over here, my background, because before I didn't say anything and I figured, you know what? I want this channel to be about digital wealth, just building up a YouTube channel. Thank you very much, guys. I can't believe the numbers are going up pretty fast now so uh just you know subscribe if you haven't already i'm really close to a thousand i'm tired of saying that <laughs> but you know what gotta put in the work man this doesn't come for free people gotta respect you for putting in work and i understand that so that's exactly what i'm gonna do now um about today i'm just gonna be depositing into my compound.finance account i'm actually re-recording so right now i'm in the middle of depositing you can see this uh green thing spinning right here that's because i'm waiting for my 50 die to get deposited yeah ethereum is still pretty slow especially the network been getting congested lately but nonetheless it's still working it's still up and running and i've still been earning interest so that's completely fine with me for now but um here's what i tweeted the other day if you don't follow me on twitter go ahead and follow me it's lowkey money underscore and uh also feel free to join my telegram group if you guys want to just contact me and start talking about anything you want in crypto it is lowkey money telegram group i have the link in the description below so feels like a bear market but then again it's bitcoin people just pretend to know what's next that's really how i truly feel because you know what when we went to through this bear market before every single top point that you see right here people were calling a bull market again and again and again and again and i don't have financial advice for you guys seriously i'm not a financial advisor so do a lot of research man for real and what i would tell you is like don't listen to traders all right if you're a trader that's one thing and you want some second opinions but if you are not a trader, don't listen to traders, all right? Use your own intuition. That's what I've done. And when I was listening to people, when I was listening to the whole HODL movement, when I was listening to traders, I lost a lot of money. But instead, what I started doing was just finding the projects I believed in, dollar cost averaging, buying the dip, and riding my way back up to the top. And right now, I am dollar cost averaging and buying the dip. So I'm not trying to look, look at this. We, <laughs> it's looking crazy. I'm not trying to, you know, go all in just because we had a nice pullback. That's how you get hurt. You're better off dollar cost averaging because if we continue to go lower, you'll get a good average. If we shoot back up, so what? You you, you missed a crazy gain maybe. Um, maybe you didn't get the whole thing, but you didn't take no losses. So that's just my opinion right there. As you guys can see, the transaction finished. And um, we're over $400 now, so that's pretty cool, man. Every week I've just been putting, you know, 50, 100. I started with 150, so it's really not much. But at the end of the day, if you guys continue to keep watching this, in a couple of weeks we'll reach, you know, a thousand, or maybe not in a couple of weeks, but maybe in like a month or two, we'll reach a thousand or so. I do plan on doing sponsored content, which I did previously and um most of that sponsored money i would like to put into this account as well so if there's any projects out there that you guys know about that's on the come up that seem pretty legit that might be willing to give a young influencer a shot at doing a review video for a small amount of money then let me know <laughs> let me know in the comments below let me know who to hit up let me know who to check out let me know what projects are on the come up i would really like to know um, I really don't got much to say other than be wise. <laughs> it could be going into a bear market. It's probably not, though. You know, it's not like we've been 
look, I, you know, I'm not even going to try to get technical, but it's probably not a bear market. All I'm saying is that you should definitely follow your gut. You know, don't make, you know, don't make decisions based on what other people are doing, what other people are thinking, what you're reading on Twitter, what you're seeing on YouTube. Make your own decision. All right. Let your own intuition guide you. That way you could own up to your own mistakes. You could learn from, you know, your own choices and on top of that you can grow from that because if you learn from somebody else's mistake the only thing you're going to learn from that is not to follow anybody else again <laughs> but somebody else that calls you know some technical analysis you know nonsense they got some crazy lines over here not saying ta doesn't work i'm not trying to discredit it but let's say somebody makes a call and you follow that call and it doesn't work out that person who has the technical skills, they might have learned from that mistake. You just took an L because you don't understand technical analysis to really have a good understanding of what you could have done different. You know what I mean? So I don't mean to go on a rant here. It's just a lot of people like me out there that just like cryptocurrency, but aren't developers and are not traders and want to make money. And I've made money in crypto. I've made thousands of dollars. I haven't made tens of thousands of dollars, but I've made thousands of dollars. It was honestly my little side hustle all 2018 and a few extra grand is what was able to help my wife and i buy our very first home she's a youtuber doing hair she made a few extra grand doing that i made a few extra grand doing crypto and next thing you know while we're taking our time we're able to get our very first home so be careful out there guys don't keep on losing money you know what i mean that's why i'm doing this experiment right here maybe before you jump in you watch some of my videos you get well acquainted with this before you jump in and then um when it's time you make a decision that's up to you but nonetheless guys i got this coming out every single week on sundays i'm sorry if this wasn't the most exciting video but make sure to subscribe because I don't just do these videos. I actually also upload um, other videos, other content two or so times, you know, out the week. So I might do like two to three videos every single week. All right. I will catch you guys on the next vid. It is your boy, Low Key. Thank you for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.